Hey guys, it's Ice Help here. Welcome back to the channel. Now today I want to talk about widgets because ever since Apple announced widgets with iOS 14, they really haven't changed much. There's no interaction. There's no different sizes. We're stuck with three sizes. And yeah, we do have third-party widgets. So in this video, I want to show you how you can get these really cool looking third-party mini widgets. And they also have some type of interaction. So for example, if I tap on this weather widget icon, I get the entirely weekly forecast. If I tap on the calendar, you can see right there, I get my entire calendar breakdown and so on. So without further ado, let's go ahead and show you how you can get interactive mini widgets directly on your iPhone. Now, as always, if you would like to stay up to date with the latest iOS news and Apple software updates, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you turn on those notifications so that you don't miss another episode. Now I'm going to link in the description down below the application that I'm using for this particular video, but it's a very popular one here. It's called Wiggy. This one you want to download it free in the app store and you want to go into the manager explore section right here. So you want to go into explore section first and then you want to tap on the filter options here and then you want to unselect small and large and extra large and only keep the medium. Click OK or check mark and then just wait for it to load. Now you want to go ahead and search for this one that I have here on the screen, this one right here. So I'm going to show you, you just have to scroll through. Unfortunately, this application doesn't have a particular search tab where you can search by developer, I guess you can call it or designer. So let's search for that particular widget. Matter of fact, here is the one that I have on my second homepage there. So let's tap onto this one. And this is one of those widgets that I have on my home screen that you see right here. So let's go ahead and take a look at some additional widgets by this uploader. So if we tap into here, here's where you find these interactive widgets, if you will. So that's the one I have on my main homepage and uh, this one here as well. And this is the one that I have on my second page. Now, what I wanna do here is I wanna tap into the widget and then I wanna go ahead and import the widget. Now, what I do here with these types of widgets is that I always remove the background. So let me go back here, tap once, and then go into create. Now, this is gonna show you the widgets that you've imported. So we just imported this one here, as you can see right there. We're gonna click edit, and then we're gonna remove the background. I don't know if this one has a background, but if it does, you can remove the background. For example, let me go back here and show you one that does contain a background. So this one here did have a background. I click on edit, and then right here, it should say background, right there, wallpaper. You wanna unselect that. You can see wallpaper, no wallpaper. And then all I have to do now is click confirm. And what this will do is it'll blend the black background to the wallpaper that I'm currently using. So once I go ahead and customize my widget, all I have to do is go into manage. And right here, I'm gonna go to the medium slots here and select a slot. Now I have four slots taken up as you can see right here. So this one is available on the slot number two. And the last one that I've imported is available on the fourth spot. We have fifth and sixth and so on, depending on how many you wanna set. All you have to do is go into your home screen here, go into edit mode, click on the plus icon here, and then scroll all the way, find the Wigit application here and let's select the medium fourth spot. So remember that fourth spot right there it is. So this is fifth, fourth, there it is. And that is the widget that I'm currently rocking right now. So click done once you're done. And as you can see right there, since the background is black, it blends in with the widget and it makes it look like mini widgets as you can see from this particular home screen page here right now. Now, all I have to do now is tap into the widgets and you can see here, I can go into some of the settings, go back home. I could also go into the weather or the calendar here. I can go into the weather as well and get the weekly forecast. Really cool stuff, some type of interaction. This is something that users have been wanting for quite some time. Now, if you want the smooth transitions, as you can see right here, you wanna head on over into settings, accessibilities, and then you wanna go into reduce motion and make sure you enabled reduce motion because if you don't enable reduce motion, you get this sort of a weird lag in between the animations and just like that. So now with reduce motion enabled, it should take away the lag or the little jump that you see when you go through uh, the actual interaction or the actual animation when you select the widget. And that pretty much wraps it up. Just something to customize your device, a different size and style. Uh, it's just so you can personalize your device with some type of interaction with mini widgets. Let me know if you enjoy videos like this one. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.